everybody, I'm Palm Beach's Paul, your local realtor and guide to the Palm Beach. So today's video is another adventure video. The wife and I are doing another day trip out of Palm Beach County. So every once in a while, she has Fridays off. We will get together and pick a place that uh, we want to go see here in the South Florida area. Usually it's an hour to maybe two hours away. Um, you may have seen our last video where we went up to Vero Beach and checked out the Botanical Gardens and also went up to uh, Pelican Island, one of the first bird sanctuaries. I'll put a link right up here if you want to see that video. But today we're heading down to Miami and it's about an hour drive and we're going to the historical Vizcaya Museum. Um, this is an amazing place. It was built between 1914 and 1922 for industrialist uh, James Daring and it was his first winter residence down here in the Miami area. So we're on our way down and uh, it's got some beautiful gardens outside. Now they don't allow you to film inside the museum so most of the footage you'll see will be from the outside but trust me when you see it it is absolutely spectacular. I highly recommend you going and uh, checking this place out. So I've been wanting to go there for the last 28 years uh, since I've lived in Florida so today we're going to go check it out. So we're day tripping down to Miami and we're getting started right now. Tantas promesas fueron por el caño Porque lo único que cumplí es un año Chica, si te vas Y luego me quieres ver Eso nunca pasará Prefiero otra mujer Chica, si te vas Y juegas otro papel Que nunca te quedará Como eso de serme fiel El día que me faltes tú All right, so that wasn't too bad of a drive, about an hour and 15 minutes, and we've now made it down here to Vizcaya, and wow, it is everything I thought it would be, and even more. This place is absolutely amazing. I love old uh, buildings, I love historical sites, and I've wanted to come here for about 28 years. This is gonna be a really fun day. Let's go explore Vizcaya. That's Biscayne Bay behind me, and when they first built this state, this was the front of the house. So this is where people came in by boat, and they have this channel out here that they dug, and they would arrive by boat, and then that would be the front of the house. So um, I guess I'll see later on that the other entrance became the front, but from what I read, they used that as the front. And uh, they have this really unique uh, coquina um, barge out here. By the way, you'll see lots of coquina. Coquina is all the rock that you see around here. It looks like little shells. And that's because that's what it was made out of. It's made out of old mollusks and our mollusks. <laughs> and it's hard to talk with this thing on. And it's made about old shells. And it's a really beautiful rock. You cannot obviously make homes with it anymore. But you'll see a lot of the old homes that were built in the 1920s, uh, up to even the 50s, that were made out of coquina. And it's absolutely beautiful and it lasts forever. So, but um, I could arrive by boat to my house and be used to that. Not a bad sight. All right, let's go keep exploring. It's $18 for, per adult to get in, and, uh, and then a little less for kids. And uh, they will let me video, just no flash photography. So I'm gonna get the video of the inside as well. So now I know what the barge is. The barge was used to stop waves from coming in and basically eroding the front of the house. So they had that built to stop all the waves coming in from uh, you know rough, rough weather and what, whatnot. And he used to have uh, seats out there and lights and plants, and people could sit out there and uh, dine, and they had a little, uh, gondola or rowboat that would take you out there but uh, over the years obviously the salt water has uh, ruined quite a bit of it but uh, still pretty magnificent looking.
Hi, honey. This area is called like the fountains garden. There's a lot of fountains here. And uh, we kind of decided to go down the trail that no one else was to the very end of the property. And then there's a hospital back here, but obviously it used to be part of the property. But there's all these banana spiders <laughs> with big spiders and big spider webs and we're ducking trying to walk around them. So I think we're gonna go ahead inside where there's no spiders. So this is the fountain gardens and this fountain behind me was actually built in 1700 in Italy and then they had it transported over here to the house and uh, although they're not running anymore you can see all the little water paths where the water would have gone at one time it must have been really pretty but uh, still an amazing water fountain that's been there since uh, 1700. Oh, 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 oh,
What a magnificent museum. I've wanted to come here for so long and I'm so glad we did today. Um, this place is just amazing. I love historical buildings. I really like history a lot and uh, I especially love old architecture. So coming here and seeing everything, it's just amazing what they did in the 1920s. I mean, some of the technology here in this house, they had dumb waiters and uh, you know, call systems for the servants, obviously, you know, all the running water and everything, but then just the gardens themselves, the way they're landscaped was just uh, amazing. Matter of fact, the, the guy who did all the landscaping was one of the first Hispanic uh, landscapers in the United States, and uh, he designed all of this for John Deering. So just a beautiful place. So John Deering was here from 1916 to 1925. This was his winter estate, so imagine that, this beautiful mansion on the water in Miami on Biscayne Bay was just his winter retreat. Um, but that's kind of common. A lot of the uh, industrialists and people who were the, uh, I guess, the rulers of our time back then um, came down to places like Palm Beach in Miami, and it's always been that kind of destination. So uh, anyway, beautiful grounds, um, a lot of neat history. They have a, a little tour uh, um, where you can get on your phone where they narrate the whole thing. Uh, we didn't do that. It was actually free. We probably should have, but we were just uh, too excited to get all the photos and see the grounds and everything. So um, if you come here, um, you gotta wear your mask both on the grounds and in the museum the whole time until COVID's gone. As I said, it's $18 for adults, a little less for uh, kids. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful place. I highly recommend you come down here. It's uh, right down here uh, in Miami. And you, I'll put a link so you can check it out yourself. But uh, anyway, we're gonna head back. We gotta head back up to the Palm Beaches. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this little day trip with uh, Angel and myself. And uh, as always, when you're in the Palm Beaches or even outside of it, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you guys real soon.